Hi, my name is James LeBrun, and I'm the Workforce Development Outreach Coordinator for the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. Right, and what is it that you guys do? We offer two training programs, my department specifically. We mm -hmm. offer two training programs, our Food Service Training Academy, FSTA, and our Warehouse Logistics Training Academy, WLTA. So our FSTA program is a 14-week culinary arts training program where we train students in the culinary arts, and this includes food safety, food prep, mm. food science, mm. and we also have other features in our program such as life skills through emotional intelligence, mm. resume building, mock interviews, internships, and all in all job training. Once the once student is done with our program, at the end of our program, you take your serve safe certification at a managerial level. With your serve safe certification at the manager's level, you can work your way up to owning a restaurant, to managing a restaurant, it depends, sky's the limit. However, in terms of food and culinary and culinary prep or culinary work, this is a license that's the must. What sets us apart is that we offer many, many other jobs offer the basic service level of this certification. Mm -hmm. We offer it at the managerial level. Mm -hmm. So something that a person can do right away mm -hmm. is open up a food truck. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing that would hinder them is their, their county in terms okay. of the permit and health inspection that is needed. Right. But again, without the without the serve safe certification, you cannot do much in food service in any oh, location. Okay. So you can work in a restaurant at any level, whether it's a waiter, a chef, a cook. Mm -hmm. However, in terms of culinary, when you come in, no one goes to the top. You right. always work your way in, you know, as a cook in the kitchen. Right, right. And you work your way up. Now the other the other training is what now? Our warehouse logistics training academy. And how does that tie in with the food services though? So in terms of food services, with this training, you're learning how to operate in the warehouse. There's lots of food handling. So you understand what it means, temperatures, because you could be driving a truck that's a fr that's refrigerated. Mm -hmm. So you understand the basis of temperature control, cleanliness, and food safety, because lots of food is being handled in the warehouse. Food is a big part of it. Oh, okay. But no, you may be delivering um, women hygiene products. Oh, all over okay. New Jersey. Oh. So, however, because we handle a lot of food, it okay, is, it is necessary to understand food safety. So, with our warehouse logistics training academy. When a person is done, or when a student is done, our AV program, they graduate with the Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt certification mm -hmm. at a managerial level. And this indicates that anyone who comes to our program, you are certified in reach truck, um, forklift, and pallet jack. Mm -hmm. So this means you can operate logistically in any warehouse. So mm -hmm. UPS, FedEx, Amazon, Costco, Amazon, mm -hmm. Sky's the limit. Okay, great, great, great. The eligibility requirements are you have to be 18 years and older, mm -hmm. possess a high school diploma, GED, or college degree. Mm -hmm. If you do not have this, then what we do is you would come in and you would take a CASAS exam, which is an equivalency exam, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much the eighth and ninth grade basic skills exam. Mm -hmm. It lets us know that you understand the basic skills of math and reading and writing. Mm -hmm. It's nothing too daunting. It's just that you understand in this business or in this industry, there's going to be a little bit of math. There's going to be a little, lots of reading. Mm -hmm. So these fun, these fundamentals are necessary to operate within this business. Actually, we work with Essex County Probation. Mm -hmm. um, we go to various reentry programs. Mm -hmm. So we are what we call background friendly, mm -hmm. and so are our partners. Because when you come to our program, it's, we pretty much say that we vetted you and we let our partners know that this person has come to our program and we highly recommend them. Now, the one area that it's, this is above us is anyone who has a sex offense. So anyone who's an offender. And that is something, it's not necessarily us, but because we, we're, such in the, we're so much in the public, right. that can be an issue. So that's, that's the one offense that we cannot work around. Right. You can go to our website, cfbnj.org. Mm -hmm. And you click on Workforce Development, and there are links there for our Warehouse Logistics Training Academy and our Food Service Training Academy. So the New Jersey Food Bank of New Jersey, we're the largest food bank in New Jersey, and we provide food to not only the various food banks in New Jersey, but we also have programs such as Kids Cafe, which is an after-school program in the city of Newark, New Jersey, where we provide after-school lunches to those who take part in after-school programs in Newark 
We also provide food to senior citizen homes, and we provide food throughout the year. We, there's a range of products that we provide. Um, many times individuals associated with only food, but we also provide clothing, um, feminine hygiene products. Um, you know, we provide, there's a, a variety of items we provide, but again, many times individuals associate us with only food. Mm -hmm. CFBNJ.org. All right, thank you.